I didn't know, I don't know how to like, like, you know, Stanley Cortez or one of the greats or anything from, from you know, Hollywood or, or whatever. I just like the way I like, you know, and I shot documentaries and I gradually learned light in myself. I never went on a film set. I never watched anybody else work. I've never done that. I've actually never done that in my life. I wonder how they do work. I see a bit of this from time to time. Um, I just do what I do. Oh, I'd read a lot and study films, you know, and, and in film school, you know, we would have classes on films. Not so much on cinematography, but on, on films and studying films. Um, but as I say, just in, a, in a terms of technically what I would do on a set, I, it was very much a learning process that I would just find out really as I went along. You know. I've al I always started off like on documentaries, making up my own gear, you know, I'd make up solar panels to charge batteries going on documentaries and stuff like that when nobody really was using solar panels for things like that. You know, you just find ways to, you know, to, to make things work, that, the ideas that you have. Um, so I'd always make up lights, my own lights, just with household bulbs and stuff like that. And I still do, I still, I still do that on a set. But it's people sometimes walk on a set and say, I've got a, like a ring of, you know, 40 watt bulbs up there and that's all they got lighting them and I go that's kind of weird you know <laughs> but that's what I do <laughs> yeah I mean most of the films I suppose that most of the films I do are very kind of quite naturalistic and that so that that feels that you know like assassination of Jesse James I mean I didn't want a scene that's lit by an oil lamp you know but then have a have a light on the face that you could where's that coming from you know I wanted the thing to feel very authentic so yeah, and that was, you know, shot on film, so you, you couldn't really shoot that much with a little flame and an oil lamp, so you have to find ways of, of dummying that effect as though it you know, still looks like an oil lamp that's light in the scene, you know. Um, you know, in the old days, people would have a lamp on a stick and they'd pan it with a character as they were walking around and carrying a lamp and all that, and it, I mean, I admire all that stuff, it's fantastic, and I did a bit of that myself on a, on a job or two early on, but it's, um, it ends up, it still doesn't look authentic, and I think it takes you out of the moment and the feeling of authenticity. So, yeah, I'm, I'm constantly ob obsessed about how to make things look as real as possible, I suppose. And you're always learning, every, every, every film you learn. I mean, the last one I learned no end of stuff on. <laughs> you know, it's all right, it's all right coming up with an idea but it's pretty scary you come up with an idea and you've never done it before and you really don't you don't and you, right deep down you don't know if it's going to work you just think this will probably work but you know the more you do the more confidence you get that that things you might imagine might work out okay <laughs>